that when the, the rhetoric about hatred, about mistrust of government, about paranoia of how government operates, uh, and to try to inflame the public on a daily basis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, has impact on people, especially who are unbalanced personalities to begin with. Warning, unpleasant visuals and strong language out of the mouths of weak men to follow. Please be advised. Are you suffering from the mistaken belief that you're the king of YouTube in a YouTube war? You started the war, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it so well, you won't be anything on YouTube. I'm going to plague you, Betsy McGee, like you won't believe, because you started it, sister. You started it, you effing bitch. I'm going to make your life hell. Do you embarrass yourself by demanding that people who don't even know you subject themselves to you in one form or another? Show your fucking face! Show your eyeballs! Well, Betsy's hung herself. She's not made one humble statement. Who the fuck are you to fucking come here on YouTube and fucking represent yourself behind a fucking fake, fake avatar? I was prepared to bring you into the fold. If you had been pleasant, nice, told us what your ideas were, and retracted some of the stuff you said. You bet your fucking ass! Who the fuck do you think you are? So Betsy, you better pick up your game, you better get back to me today, make a video and say, listen, hey Jungle Surfer, I can understand why you would attack me, I've done the wrong thing here. I give you to today to defend yourself or I'm going to go and I'm going to make the most scathing attack on you on YouTube history. Show me your eyeballs, bitch! Do you feel that your subpar videos should be getting more views and anyone who gets more views than you is up to no good? But it is interesting, she hasn't got that many videos, but she's managed to get a lot of views. And I'll just wait and see with Betsy McGee. As I said, she seems to have a lot of views there for such an early start-up. She's been assisted somewhere. Then you might be living with shill fever. Shill fever is an embarrassing, unpleasant disorder, mainly affecting lonely, uncreative men with YouTube channels. Shill fever can result in embarrassment and alienation from your more intelligent YouTube friends. The correct dosage of prescription strength Shilloft can return you to your ordinary boring self so you can go back to making your inane videos and at least be tolerated by the community once again. Signs of shill fever are deciding that people you've never met are actually other people based on no evidence at all. Nick Pew to Harley Guy, which is exact match. To the people that don't know they're being conned by Betsy Lee McGee, I'll make it really easy for you here. She's the mother of Abby Martin. Resorting to name-calling, disgusting insults, and showing off your complete lack of artistic talent when you're proven wrong by these people. You can just smell it, can't you? Smell her stinky, rotty crutch from here. I bet you got a stinky crutch under the sun, you fat whore. Right, bitch? So you get back to me with apologies, you stupid... Bitch, Zionist shill. Okay, I'm releasing my latest sketch. It's called the Betsy McGee. Childish, embarrassing computer rage about things that are none of your business and beyond your control. Stick it up your ass, bitch. Piss off. So look out, Alex Jones, Mark Dice, and every other one under the sun, including Betsy McGee. You stupid fucking punk, rat trash, fucking little bitch. But now there's help. Ask your doctor about Shilloft. Just one enormous pill per day is enough to clog your esophagus and keep you gasping for air so that you can't bother the world with more poorly researched videos. Side effects of not taking Shilloft may include stupidity, Duh. delusions of grandeur. Stick it up your ass. I've actually got more views than you. Quite a lot more. So I've got three times more subscribers than you. Ridiculous accusations, <coughs> reddened eyes, and illusions of victory. <laughs> More serious side effects include striking resemblance to Iggy Pop, persistent tiny erection, Aww. hairy frog-eyed man boobs, <coughs> scary rotten teeth. <laughs> Ask your doctor if Shiloft is right for you. Show him your YouTube channel if he has any doubts. Shiloft. It's you, only less stupid.
Now, run along, stooges. Run to Big Brother YouTube and claim copyright infringement, because as ugly and nasty as you can dish it out, everyone knows you won't be able to take it.